When he was 15, Rick Hansen was thrown from the bed of a pickup truck. He never walked again. But here's the thing about Rick. Instead of cursing his fate, he became a power. So inspired by his mentor, Terry Fox, Rick undertook a two-year journey. Today, he still works hard to provide opportunity to people with disabilities. I found one evening when I was having dinner with a friend that there was a person who had just lost his leg to cancer and he went to Simon Fraser University. I got his name. His name was Terry Fox. I called him up that night and I said, hey, Terry, I don't know you, you don't know me, but I heard you just lost your leg to cancer and you used to play basketball. Do you want to come out and play for the Vancouver Cable Cars team? And he said, absolutely. Well, Terry and I, we became fast friends. We trained together constantly. He was going to Simon Fraser in human kinetics and I was in physical education at UBC. And uh, we spent a lot of time together. We became roommates and we inspired each other for sure. I know for a fact that he inspired me. He inspired me to believe in goals and dreams. He inspired me to think about as Stan and many other role models and family members that we can't just take from life, we have to give back as well. And you know, I also realize that all of us think about Terry because we know him, this national hero who's now a global legend and his legacy in the Marathon of Hope with Terry Fox Runs annually continues and people's lives have been saved as a result. But I think about Terry as a, as a, as a great friend. Privileged to have known him and he's inspired me to think about dreams and to never ever be afraid to reach for your dreams. Some of the greatest dreams in life could be killed because of fear of failure. You also are in a moment like this when I was in a class and there was a teacher, my, my prof, was saying to people that, you know, there's moments in time in life and you either go through the window of opportunity or it closes and it never happens. And, and for me, really, I hadn't been committing everything to my sport. And my teacher was speaking to 100 people, but I heard it as though he was speaking directly to me. He never knew exactly in that big lecture that one moment. And it changed my whole life because I came out of that class. I changed my schedule to commit to the level that I needed to truly be the best I could be. And I went to the completely next level as a result of that experience. And I, I can say thank you to him as a teacher, as a mentor, as someone who changed my whole life. Probably one of the greatest privilege for me is to be able to be part of the questions and answers. And I'm constantly reminded by the insight in these questions. And one question that keeps coming up is, Rick, if you ever had a chance to go back to that accident site, you know, where you were actually hitchhiking, would you decide to not get in the back of the pickup truck? Would you trade your life for the use of your legs? And the answer that I give them is, you know, back when I first had my injury, I would have sold my soul for the use of my legs. It was devastating. But my answer now is I would never trade my life for the use of my legs. I feel like I'm one of the luckiest guys on the planet because I've come to learn what's important in life. It's not about whether you can use your legs or not. It's about whether you're surrounded by family or friends, whether you give and receive love, whether you're connected and have a sense of meaning and purpose, whether you work hard day to day and you wake up in the morning with a fire in your belly and a goal and a dream and you think just maybe your work is worthwhile and that hopefully it can make a difference. Just maybe leave the world a little better place than when you came. I feel that I don't need to be cured in order to be whole as a human being. And it's this country that has placed me in that place and fills my whole heart and soul with gratitude. And I believe that for all of us, it's the simple things that matter most. And I know in your journey, your challenges may not be so visible, but can be equally or more devastating. And to know that you are not alone, that there is hope for all of us, to sustain ourselves during those most difficult times, that we can achieve excellence, that the agricultural community is achieving unbelievable things in this country and globally. We are competing and collaborating and contributing. And it's based on each and every one of you in your attitude and what you do every single day. Dig deep. Stay the course. Continue the exceptional work. Do as I do and believe your best work is in front. Never give up, you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>